Welcome Empire Blade, this is Rampin, and welcome back to my Legions of Bellacore campaign. We are going to continue the up from last time, where this should be the final video for today, where I'm releasing this on Monday, and you guys should be seeing a video from me for Warhammer 3 with Immortal Empires tomorrow. A little bit awkward, because it's supposed to be replacing this campaign, but it releases the day after normally when I don't release this. But hey, we're going to get into this. We're going to be finishing off killing uh, Kislev today. That is our primary goal, I would say. Belakor here, I need to start trying to I give you some hunter. reinforcements. I need to the give mind. you just some more Chaos Warriors. Uh, right now we have more of the normal Sword and Board Join version, so let's get some me. more of the Halberd variants right there. Let's grab you. You'll have to sit there for at least a turn or two until you're ready. Uh, Lothar right now is trying to see if he can ambush anybody that is going to try and make their way over into Wolfenburg. You're going to keep doing that. And then I think... Ah, oh, yes, we still have this fight here. So, I do want to try and see, because I don't want to wait too long here and give them too much time to just deteriorate and destroy my army. Because we've got a little bit less than half. Uh, this army here... They don't have, like any skirmishers for the most part. Most of this is all infantry. Their infantry is going to be better than mine, but I think we should be able to do this. If anything, we can hopefully at least weaken them, and if any, uh, then maybe kind of come back here again later. Uh, it's close to feet. I think we can do this. I have to make sure that my I summon my... Oh, actually, I can grab one of their crossbows, which I'm going to do. I'm going to seduce one of these crossbows, at least grab that, it makes it so they have less skirmishers in general. Uh, I wish I didn't have to get one of the slayers, but sadly I don't. So, let's get in here, try and finish this army off, and then I will properly start trying to remake my Corn and Zinch army. Uh, I really don't want to have these beasts of Nurgle in here randomly, but hey, I've got them in here. It was something quick and very cheap to produce. So what we'll do is I need to make sure that... Uh, oh, my reinforcements are coming in from behind them too. Ooh... So let's take my infantry, let's move you guys there, and then I'll have it so my blue horrors, honestly, actually, this is kind of fine, how you guys are grouped up initially, I think that's okay. So, we'll start deployment, start the battle, and then let's kind of, let's see, it takes two minutes for you guys there, I'm gonna move forward, because my skirmishers are better than yours, at least in range, so we can try and have it so that we'll move on up. I'm going to try and get close enough that I can start unloading on their skirmishers. Uh, the Furies will focus first on this one Iron Drake unit first. Uh, the only abilities we've got, we've got Blue Fire and we got Pink Fire. That's all we got. <laughs> the only magic we've got for us right here. Furies, you're ready. Let's spawn you. Get you to try and hit these Iron Drakes. I'm glad I was able to take that crossbow there. So they literally have no long-range skirmishers. So just the Iron Drakes. So you try and deal with them. Yeah, because, like, these Phoenix Guard, they're going to be fun to deal with. Those guys will probably actually absolutely destroy my dudes. Let's see, it's another 40 seconds until my reinforcements are here. I want to make sure you guys are all in position before we start moving forward. Um, yeah, Slayers are right there. Blue Horrors, focus them down, please. Because if you guys can try and do that, that'd be awesome. Because, yeah, I think you guys will be able to do that because they have no armor. Yeah, they have absolutely no armor. And you guys, your stats for your stuff is, again... Damage, missile strength. Yeah, you guys have no normal armor piercing. Yeah, you're shredding these slayers. There you go. Keep that up. Uh, you guys are, let's see, these are also slayers. Kind of pull back a little bit, though. Because at the moment, they're kind of in a forest. So you go there. You kind of go back up normally. You can kind of back up this way. Okay, reinforcements are on the way over. You guys are into... Oh, okay, so these are the sword masters of Poe. If I remember correctly, you have a kind of a range deflection. I don't know if that works with pink horse. Stuff. We'll have to see. Because those slayers are already almost dead. Uh, here comes the iron drakes. I have no... Oh, that is painful. No way to interrupt that. So let's head again. You three, try and focus the slayers. All of you, try and make your way over this way to kind of support us. I need to deal with these iron drakes. Um, that slayer's almost dead. You two. Try and hit over there. I almost have... Oh, I need to actually use you guys. Let's kind of have some of you go over to the side there. Some of you try and go over to the side here. More Furies. Let's try and interrupt this unit again. This Slayer is almost dead. I'll see to make sure I'm still using my spells. Let's kind of go right there with some Pink Fire. Try and hit those units if you can. So those guys are... Oh, they are dead. Nice. Okay, let's have you try and get in. One of you, melee right there. 
one of you melee right here. Oh, those are more slayers. Okay, pull back here. Keep trying to shoot those slayers. Actually, you're a large unit. You don't want to fight the slayers. You need to try and to interrupt those iron drakes. You are getting slaughtered by that thing. Okay, let's have you guys try and interrupt that. And then you're fighting the great swords. There you go. Let's get some more fire in here. Right there. Let's have all of you guys focus on the Lord. So all my reinforcements, kill the Lord initially. Kill him out. He's just isolated alone. Let's see those slayers. Let's see you turn those iron breakers. Oh, actually, no. Slayers are right there. Focus them. Uh, you also came back. Do you have... No? Which team is this? Oh, that's one of my cast warriors. Here my cast warriors. Uh, you go over here to the iron breakers. Almost have that ability again. Okay, that one's almost done. Keep fighting there. Otherwise, we do outnumber them now. We didn't initially. Let's keep doing some more pink fire right here. The Lord. Okay, you're slowly getting over here. Slowly doing some damage to them. I need to have these guys focus on these iron drakes. Let's go there. Because these slayers... Uh, you're out of ammo anyways. Uh, I might actually have you try and go over here and just kind of shoot them. So I'll have you try and do that. Let's move these pink horrors. Horrors, you're fine. Let's get this area. Okay, you're at least interrupted for them. Let's have you kind of spawn here. I might actually have these furies kind of help out with the slayers. Anything that doesn't worry, I have to worry about um, armor piercing will be great for them. So let's have you go here. And then my lord, just keep trying. Yeah, just keep shooting them with your stuff. And then I'll keep using more pink fire right around here. Get you guys, I'll just put you in a generic group here. Try and push in here. Try and help out around this area. Uh, some of my beasts of Nurgle are almost dead. Yeah, the ones over here are. Oh, that's why you're going up against the Phoenix Guard. Oh shit, no, no wonder you're dying there. Over here at least. Uh, you seem to be doing okay. My infantry's all dead around here. Let's see, I'm gonna get another... So they're all attacking us back here. Uh, no, you're breaking. Okay, you're breaking there. Let's have you all help out here. Try and help out the uh, break these guys. As soon as these great swords are done, then we can have all my attention be thrown over here. I will throw some more magic this way. So, there. I really need to get another ability here. Let's this up a little bit. Let's have you try and shoot in there. Oh, I have those. Curious. Yeah, open up on those hammerers. So I think right now my magic needs to go over around here primarily. What ability did I get? Come on, please something good. Uh, you two are fine. Let's head over here. Let's put this on to the Lord. Try and get that. You guys are almost dead. Let's have all of you kind of focus your attention here. Finish that one off. All of you keep trying to hit the hammerers here. Let's get some more furies. Throw them on top of these guys. This is really close at the moment. Come on, we can do this. Let's get over there. You two. Need to keep trying to finish those great swords off. I and those iron breakers. Keep trying to do that. Oh my lord, I think. Let's try and go and put it there. Try and get that spot. I think you'll do more. It's either. Oh, my other lord's dead. I was going to say, maybe I should try and use his, his uh, spell casting, but I think your spell casting is a little bit more potent. Uh, maybe two. Yes, some. Hammers. I need to take out the Lord. I really do. Um, let's have you try and hit him. I'm sad you're not flying. Guys. Some of them are coming back. Shit, that's not what I need. Let's have you gonna go over this way. I need to take out the Lord. If he dies, they should break. Which all of you are supposed to be trying to hit him. He is slowly dying. He's it kind of combat even over there. Oh, they're coming to you. Uh, how does that do? Close range. Let's see. Point blank range. Yeah, that did okay. Okay, keep trying to run. Uh, this area for you is not breaking quickly enough. Okay, I'll have to have you uh, try and run away from those hammers, please. Let's get a Fury unit over here. I need to remember to actually use this one this time. I keep accidentally forgetting to use them. Morale overall is dropping quite a bit. Come on, come on, 
come on, come on. Oh shit, those iron breakers came back. Uh, you're out of range, try and hit them too. The garrison's doing really well. I do need to kill this guy though. What's he at for health wise? He's at 2300. If he doesn't die, I'm going to lose this. So let's try and have it so all of my units I need to focus him down. He has to die. If he does not die, we will lose this. Because at the moment, the morale is pretty bad. I just need this tiny little bit extra to push them over. So let's try and see if I can hit you with this ability. Uh, nope, that did nothing. That did absolutely nothing there. You're distracted over there. I don't have anything else really to try and hit this guy. I think this army's gonna lose. It's close. It's either I use this or the pink flame to try and hit him. And that's not doing anything. Um, I really need a different ability to pop up from that. Because this isn't do cutting it. Let's get some Furies over here. Let's try and hit their back line right here. Come on, here we go. Push onto the Iron Breakers. They're exhausted, they're not doing so hot. See, I've still got uh, 33 total. I could get like six casts of this, five casts of this. And at the moment, actually, I'm gonna try and help you guys out right here. Try and hit these Iron Breakers with that. And a lot of damage. Oh, there's no armor priesthood on that whatsoever. That's why. Okay, so we're gonna ignore that ability. Uh, from now on, I'm just gonna be using this. Try and keep hitting the Lord. Even if we kind of miss and we kind of hit the men around him occasionally, there's at least more armor piercing there. So we'll keep casting that on top of you. Keep speeding this up. You're currently losing that fight. Please don't give up, guys. Please don't give up. Ah, damn it. I think we are, though. I think I'm gonna have to reclaim this area, though. Because unless you... Oh! Am I gonna get a fucking miracle? I might just get a miracle. Are you, uh, Furies? Finish him off. Make sure he's dead. Make sure he's dead. Because if he's dead, that will have a huge morale penalty. Come on. Kill him. Come on, come on, come on. Finish him off. Do not let him get away. Do not let him get away. He's at how much health? He's at 67. No, don't break it. Don't break it. Don't break it. No! God damn it. So close to killing him there. Oh, it was so close. Almost had it, guys. If you would have killed him a little bit sooner. A little bit sooner. So, they now get to just win that fight there. Uh, I think they just burn the city when it's a rogue army. I don't think they can capture it. I'll have to build another army. <laughs> Fucking again. To slowly get my corn and uh, uh, corn and zinge army, uh, I might try and build it up in some other location, possibly, just so we can actually get the units I want. Because at the moment, I it takes forever to get anything globally right now. Global recruitment is a pain. I'm not gonna be able to easily build this army up in that regard, so I have to try and probably do it more locally, so we, I can actually get all the units I want. I might actually go back to my like main areas uh, where I have all those stuff built up, and I might just start recruiting some corn units right there. One man survived. Everything else is dead. Too powerful. So, yes, yes, I know. Uh, we will grab. Hey, another one! Uh, yeah, you're Zinch in that. Uh, this is I herald change. What? Oh! Huh! That is not what I was expecting to happen, but I will take it. Um, okay. That gives me a turn. Uh, that doesn't do anything, honestly, though. Um, that gives me a turn. That gives me one turn where you guys can kind of replenish your garrison. Kind of. This might have worked out in the end. <laughs> oh, to Zinch's plan. I love it. Okay, so you guys can try and do that. I don't have anything else for uh, troops right now. Uh, Building-wise, at least. There's not a lot. At least at this point right now. There's a lot of like minor things I can do to keep slowly kind of improving my economy and whatnot. Like you need to keep getting more growth around here, keep growing these areas. But for the most part, a lot of our lands are kind of fully built up as much as I really can. Or it's like slowly building everything up. Um, I will keep grabbing that. 
you need to get this for more money, and that's good enough, I would say. So I want to make sure we actually finish this campaign today. As uh, we need to finish off Kislev, that's my main goal right now, finish off the Grand Orthodoxy, kill them off. Um, I'm bringing more reinforcements in from the east, Belakor and uh, Lothar. Um, I need to pincer all those armies that you were used to try and take Erengrad. Once they're all dead, then there's not much to really defend you guys. Ambush for the game. God damn it, can you stop this? Did they actually bring an army over this way? No, they didn't. Okay, so they didn't bring an army over at all. Let's see. An ice witch bows to no one. Because you guys will have to garrison there too. Um, because what I'm gonna do. Bellacor, I think, needs at least one more turn um, of recruitment. At least one more. And I think what we'll do is, let's see. Um, we need how much again for that? We need 50% of my movement. So we can go to here. No. Let's go into encampment stance. And then let's just grab some more Chaos Warriors. So we've got five of the Halberd versions. Let's get one more view. And two more of the Shield variant. Grab that. And then... They will have those reinforcements. I think we'll be further away this time. Let's see. I'm wondering if there's anything along the road. No. But I can go here. A little bit further away from the city this time. That way if they uh, decide to foil it and they try and attack me, uh, they won't get the reinforcements from their city. Uh, actually, I'm a little too close. Actually, need to back up a little bit more. It's like right. There. That should be good enough. Yes. So if they try and attack me, they will not be able to. If they were staying right there, they would have been able to get reinforcements. Okay, don't want that. Uh, other than that, let's see. Demonite Cervantes, you're now making your way over. Oh, for, okay. First, I'm having you kill the gates of Zar Camp. Destroy that. Um, ooh. I think I'll put that on to you. Giving you some more physical resistance. Um, let's see. Actually, no. Not a character unit. Oh, actually, that we want to put on somebody else. Then. I will say, put on to just one of my physical pressures. Do that. You can kill them off, and then I'll have you keep making your way. Let's do the um, dedicate to Slanesh. That way you have a little bit more movie. Mo <laughs> movement. Um, that way I can have you make your way over a little bit faster. Uh, you... Get a little bit of lightning strike and then the clinger of skulls so you have more movement range I'll put you into force stance and then oh, there are armies up here i don't really care about them okay make your way over this way because now we have silver lunks and then we also have epidemius um, over here so now we just need to start kind of pushing on in harassing their eastern side where they really don't have a lot to stop me um you guys are actually pretty beat up I think, um, let's see, I can move up to about here, and then put you into encampment stance. You're not gonna get more replenishments, sadly. I kinda wish you would. Um, so we can just have you kinda sit there. Sit there. You can hit that city next turn. You can try and strike that. Uh, build-wise, that's all good. That's all good, 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 good. I will upgrade, I actually don't need that upgrade. I will actually need to grab uh, these, just so we have more uh, recruitment around other areas at least. That, that, growth. Get more control. Get better buildings here as well for more money and for better troops. And then, I st you guys actually left me the fuck alone. I have I have a full garrison again. Wow. Yeah, run away, run away, you cowards. Okay, so I'll pull up here. We'll try and properly. I, I can't do it this time. Um, but I can try and get some of your forces in here properly soon. Um, I don't have the stuff over here. Although I was... I can now grab this. So we can grab that so we can get pink horrors over here at least. So we can try and do that. It'll take two turns to construct that. Commandment uh, an air grant again. Grab that. And the turn. As next turn at least, Bellacor is going to kind of push on in. Him and Lothar then together will be able to push through that uh, into both and Bells. They can claim that for sure, because there's only, like, a total of about two armies, effectively. There's three armies, but they're not all full stacks. Ah, uh, do you guys also want to offer me money in non-aggression? Yes, you do. Awesome. Today, we become the ever-chosen. Um, let's see. I don't have an, a full military alliance yet with corn. So let's do the Take the Howling Chalice, that we can try and maybe get, um... 
Scarbrand actually won an alliance with us. Um, ready for duty, that's fine. I'm not going to actually use you. Bellicor, though. Uh, do you actually have a movement to get to where I want you to go? No. Oh, Lothar's taking attrition. Oh, they actually did their thing. Uh, I don't see their troops around here, though. Uh, any other troops around here, so that should be okay. Bellicor actually stay in Gammon's stance. Should have moved you out of it, but kind of keep pushing forward. Uh, Lothar, though, then. Try and attack this before you guys... Yeah, we should be able to do that with just that. Let's have you guys kind of insert that for a second. I want to check out all my other armies first, because uh, Demon Knights are fanties. You're still making your way on over. So you're making your way over this way. You can also get to about here at least. I'll have to take you out of Force March Dance next turn. Uh, you guys can push on into Gearsavel. Victory, am I going to lose anybody? Oh, I'm going to lose my Minotaurs. I don't want to lose my Minotaurs. Okay, uh, I will... Let's assault this first. Assault this first, then we'll go over and do Lothar's battle, I would say. Both armies, I think, are weak enough against mine that we should be fine. Um, also, I have like six soul grinders in here, so we should be able to easily, probably just mow these guys down, honestly. Because I have so many artillery support pieces. Ooh, I like the atmosphere today. Look at that. It's, so, it's a really dark night. I love it. Okay, let's grab my main infantry, then my monstrous kind of infantry, and then my soul grinders. Kind of group you guys up there. I'll have you guys probably... Let's see. I'll have you just kind of go off to the side here a little bit more. You'll push in this side. I can have my Chaos Warriors kind of push in this side. Start the battle. Start deployment. Let's kind of just push straight on in. Let's have all of you guys push into this one Streltsy. And then release my Soul Grinders. We'll be able to do so much damage. Let's have my heroes kind of push on forward a little bit. Chaos Warriors just need to start trying to make their way straight towards the enemy. Honestly, I might actually have you guys kind of go around... Eh, it'd take you way too long to go around that way. Well, let's just brute force up in one direction. Why the fuck not? Oh, I'm actually going to break this. If you guys have enough time to actually build that up, then I probably will. Let's see. You guys can hit these units back there. So keep unloading on them at the moment. So far... Oh, yeah. There we go. That's a lot of damage already. Let's have you try and maybe hit this winged lancer unit. Absolutely destroying them so far. Let's see, I think you're fine as you are. Chaos Warriors, let's have you try and break that platform, just so we can kind of hit that from another angle. I love having so many soul grinders. You're doing so much damage. I love that. Okay, you guys need to hit this barricade, break that down. I said break that down. A lot of their forces are over here, it seems like. Not much over here. So we'll try and have so you guys can kind of push in, take this point. Let's get some of you on the ice guard here to try and distract them. Come on, spot it in. There we go. Hit those ice guard there. There we go. Hit that. Chaos warriors. We're trying to break that. I can do a little bit of damage to the other towers. Let's see. This barricade is just about to fall. I'll have all of you uh, push over this way and try and do it with all of these units. And then I think we can just leave this capture point to my chaos warriors. Let's see. This one's almost down. As soon as that breaks. Come on. One more good hit. There we go. Okay, all of you, go over here, hit those Ice Guard. Oh, that's a lot of friendly fire. Please stop that. Please stop that. Hmm. Maybe I can't trust you to do that, because at the moment you almost killed all of it. That was so much fucking friendly fire. Oh, that's painful. Literally just destroyed all of my Chaos Warriors with that. Awesome. Okay, let's hit something else. Like you guys. Uh, I'll have my Minotaurs go over here. I think my Minotaurs and my Great and Clean ones could be enough to finish the rest of them off, right? We don't outnumber them anymore now, but um, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Let's have you guys make your way over here. All of you try and claim this point here, as uh, I have nobody else now to do it. Because you're at the moment uh, trying to open up, hit that Zar Guard unit, as that Ice Guard unit's almost dead. I'll probably just have to send my... Sword Grinders in there to deal with those units. You guys can just run there. Let's have you get some of the breath attacks over here and here. Oh, that that's gonna miss. Awesome. Okay. Furies, hit the Kosars. You guys keep trying to push through that unit there. Okay, keep pushing up to this point here. Hey, you guys came back! Okay, take the point. 
I'm gonna move my soul grinders up a little bit more so you guys aren't just shooting my men point blank range, please. Okay, I've now at least been able to capture one point. I'm gonna have my Chaos Warriors try and see if they can um, claim this other section over here. Uh, number wise, we now outnumber them once again. Uh, soul grinders, I'm having you try and waste your ammo on units that aren't going to actually hit my own guys. Try and push on and keep pushing over here. You're almost out of ammo. I'm <laughs> not gonna shoot over there. Because uh, you guys are almost out. I might just have you kind of run on into melee over here. Oh, no, there we go. Now we just need to wait a little bit longer. Because now they've hit the point where they are breaking. Their ability is triggered. Kislev now has unlimited morale for a time. And there we go. Most of my damage was to my own fucking troops. Ah. That's Nurgle for you. <laughs> Trying to convert these Chaos Warriors of Corn into Chaos Warriors of Nurgle. Because, let's see. Uh, they and specify how many they killed because I want to know how many men I killed of my own from that because yeah, it doesn't specify the kills on their end just yet. I think it will show that like once we load back in uh, how many casualty or how many in casualties they inflicted because uh, most of this damage was my own men. I'm going to say this to add that to the kill counter though. But there we go. So there's one settlement now under our control. Uh, you guys just needed to get a little more punishment. I think you guys would have been fine then. So we'll have you guys kind of sit here a little bit. I now at least have the reinforcements from behind you that can kind of help out. So let's have you guys um, dedicate this to Nurgle as it's already dedicated to Nurgle a little bit. Ooh, that's a good item for you to get. Not bad. Okay, let's then get the better, um, get the better control building there. You'll be over here next turn. Um, who is more moved? Oh yes, you are still around here. Although you, at the moment, uh, I really want you to start getting your Chaos Warrior units. So let's get some... Uh, oh. Sorry. Wrong Chaos Warriors! These guys, let's get two of them. And then let's get a pink horror. So start grabbing that. You're at least taking it. Oh, you're not taking attrition. He went his back though again. God damn it. I'll have to deal with you. Uh, but no, what we want to do is over here, Lothar also hit those some pills. Because I should be able to take this. Um, 1700. Uh, is there anything I actually really want for 1700? I can grab one of their archers. That's about it. Yeah, let's seduce one of the archers. Why not? Give us a little bit more ranged units to kind of help uh, pelt some of their guys. And now we just need to make sure that as long as I blob them up, I have to take out the Zarina here. As long as I blob them up, my damage, at least they don't have a lot of Ice Guard in here, thankfully. They've got some Elemental Bears, some Streltsy, not a lot of Skirmishers in the first army. Uh, there's a couple in the second army. But I think we should be okay here. We should be able to push on in here, get rid of the Zarina, and then with her army out of this, we should be able to then kind of spread out and conquer as much as we want. Um, I will be focusing most of my attention around here, I would say, for the most part. That's the best area for me to really try and hit. Although I could have some guys try and shoot up there. No, we'll kind of just go straight from here. Yeah, we're also even spawning there immediately, too. Okay, so what I'm going to do, though, is let's see. Let's have my infantry group you guys up. Um, we will try and go from it at this angle. So I'll have you guys, yeah, right kind of where you are right now. I have my infantry there, Lothar and my other hero will both be about down here, but I will take all of you guys, and I'm actually going to bring you over to the other side. I'll try and have it so that, let's have the uh, Heart Seekers of Slanesh over here, and then I'll have it so that all of you guys are going to be trying to just capture points, and then uh, you technically, yeah, I'll have you kind of go around the side here. So let's have you start the battle, you kind of go over here, infantry, try and have you guys all push forward. Let's have my guys move up as well. Lothar also trying to just rush forward. Right there. Seagrass of the Nash. Um, let's see. So they've got one of their heroes. They've got an Ice Guard unit, actually. I might just go try and take out that Ice Guard immediately. You can try and make your way over there. Um, they don't have a ton over here. They've got, like, one Kosar unit, which you guys should be able to break. They've kind of spread themselves out a little bit more, which I kind of appreciate. And that's what we I'm actually going to probably... It's tempted to try and have you maybe rush on over and just deal with Katarina. Um, but I think what I should have you do is let's have you hit the Armored Corsars. Let's have you try and do that. My infantry, you all need to try and support us pushing through these guys. These are just Kos uh, Corsars. Oh. Let's have you spawn some Furies around here to try and help out with the Armored Corsars. Try and distract them a little bit. Right there. 
And then uh, this unit here, let's have you specifically try and target those light war sleds. Try and hit them. You're going to kind of be honestly just slaughtered for the most part, so I'm not going to worry too much about you. There we go. Slaughter these cab units. Real Thor's doing well there. Let's kind of wait until they start blobbing more up before I start spamming some uh, stuff. Um, oh, they did a breath attack. Um, yeah, you guys are going to want to run away from here. You're not going to be able to take out an ice bear with you guys. You seekers. Oh, and they've got a bear over here too, as well. Okay, let's get you out of here. Get out of there. You two cannot take on a bear yourselves. Uh, they just have better stats than you. Because you guys have, like, no armor. I'm not surprised by that, actually. Um, let's try and do the whips back here. Both of you do the whips. Just try and break them up, get them away from us. And let's try and uh, slow the elemental bear so it can't chase us. Let's get out of here for now. I need to go back over here and keep focusing on pushing into you guys. Keep moving my pink horrors up a little bit more. Because we're going to focus most of our attention over here primarily. We're just trying to harass with what we can on the other sides here. So yeah, you guys are trying to get away from them. Because we just don't want to have to deal with those elemental bears over by my main army right now. Because they can do a lot of damage to my infantry. And at least you guys are able to get out of there. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, I'm just pull away for now. I'll try and get you back in there in a second. But I just have to wait. Okay, you guys are starting to blob up a little bit more now. I can actually get like four or five units in here. Let's actually use a final transmutation there. And that should be able to do a decent amount of damage. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, 20 kills already. Okay, just keep doing that. Um, let's spawn some more Furies back here to distract these armor Bersars. You're still wasting their ammo and almost have killed that sled. Perfect. Uh, you guys, are they still just chasing you? Yeah, they are. Okay, let's try and hit those Ice Guard. They took everybody else away, although Ice Bear is still over here. Let's try and have you hit them. Forces are pushing forward. You're doing really well here so far. Oh, yes, I got a heal over here. Come on, heal them both. Heal them both. Because you guys have a pretty be decent health pool, that should actually heal a little bit. I don't know if it's going to be enough to save you, but it's worth a shot. I'm hoping we can maybe get another heal. Uh, you've got your ability again. Let's put that down on top of all of these guys. There's not a lot of them left, so I can probably start trying to make my way out of here soon to start trying to go after Katarin around here. Number-wise, we don't number them by a decent margin now at this point. Uh, you all... That bear doesn't want to fuck off. Yeah, let's try and run around this way. We're not doing a lot over here. Okay, we've almost pushed through this section now. Uh, balance power is starting to tick up in our favor. Uh, we've got about 500 guys left. I think those ice bears should be making their way up here now. Yeah, there's one of them. There's one of them. Okay, so now I need to just try and push on in, finish off this Zar Guard unit, and then we're going to start trying to force our way up to the, this point. Uh, these guys, I'm trying to have you make your way around this way. Oh, ice bear's still there. It does want to make its way over to actually like help its forces. So let's have you guys just wait over here. Hopefully it just won't make its way up. So hopefully we can just kind of fight one of them at a time right now. Also, I think you... Uh, how much does this actually regen your ammunition again? Duration 13 seconds. Okay, I'll wait until you guys run out a little bit more of ammo. You guys have quite a bit more still. Until you can uh, probably want to use that. At the moment... Oh, you should move away. You're being shot at. Yeah, kind of move over here into the cover of the buildings. There you go. Nice and safe. Can't really easily shoot us now. There we go. Oh, here we go. This is our guard trying to push on forward. This elemental bear is almost here. You guys should be able to easily do a lot of damage there. It's a really big target. So as soon as he's anywhere near us. Here comes the elemental bear. So yeah, I really need you guys to specifically try and target that. Try and focus the elemental bear down. Don't worry about the Zar guard for right now. What ability did I get? Come on, which one did I grab? Um, that's not the worst. Try and do that and spread it on the things. Oh, that's so much purple stream. There you go. Keep trying to take it out. Lothar also help out against the bear. Because once this bear is dead, the other one should be pretty easy. It's just when they have two, I'm kind of worried at some times. Oh, there you go. It's almost dead. Come on. Finish it off. There we go. Okay. One elemental bear down. Now, Lothar can properly start making his way over to try and deal with the Zarina. Infantry, keep trying to just push on through here. Uh, I'll wait until you guys are a little bit lower on ammunition. Uh, I do want you to now start kind of focusing on this armored Corsar. Let's try and distract some of the uh, Corsars and other... Oh, actually, no, these Ice Guards. 
Strike those Ice Guard with my Furies. So you can go over here. Go up there. We'll throw, I'll have you grab, get rid of the Light Sleds for now, actually. Try and do that. Uh, there's not a lot going on over here. I can at least spawn some magic right there. There's a little bit around here. Those are small units, though, so I'm not going to really waste magic on them. Right there. And then Lothar, I just need you to take out these little sl sleds. They're finally moving the bear. Okay. Let's now try and capture this point. Let's see if we can just kind of capture it while it's running away. And I wish I could get another one of the heals here. I really just don't want to lose my infantry. I'm okay. I, I've kind of lost, I've lost the Seekers. And um, a little bit of my cap. I can probably replace those with other units stuff for right now. I still want to have one of every greater demon, but I don't know if I'll be able to before I'm done with this campaign. Damn it, you guys noticed me over here. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna, honestly, I'm going to let them die. I'm going to let them die because I want to be able to try and actually have space to get the other greater demons in this army. Um, because I know we at least have the uh, Secret Slanesh. We also have the Great Unclean ones. Those are available as well. Um, I think I'm almost able to recruit the Lords of Change. I don't think I'm anywhere near Bloodthirsts just yet. Um, I should also just double check and see. I might be able to just get a outpost that will allow me to do that. Let's see what's here. Uh, hello! Yes, let's just hit you guys with that ability. There's not a lot of you left. Lothar right now is uh, giving Zarina the D. Uh, absolutely kicking her ass. Because once she's out of here, then for the most part, everybody should break, I'm assuming. Let's see. There's not a lot around here. My infantry is actually pretty much done around this way. You can kind of push forward to kind of support our lord up front. Um, I'm going to move my pink horse forward a little bit. And I think it now is the time to actually use your ability. To try and give some ammo back. I want to wait until right about... Come on. There we go. I want to get every single one of them all at the same time. I'm surprised some of my cav units actually survived that. Like, honestly, you guys won against the fucking Elemental Barrow over there. Congratulations. So it looks like I lost um, both my Keepers of Secrets. None of my infantry died. Lost one of my cav units. Two of my cav units. And that's it. So I'll have two more slots. I'll, I'll try and uh, get two more Keepers of Secrets. And I'll try and get two more... Um, I'd say great and clean ones. And then I don't think we have access to Lords of Change just yet. I'll have to double check that. I believe we are getting close to finishing up the construction on that building. But it'll be a couple turns until it's properly done. There we go. Yeah, four units died, sadly. But that's fine. I can kind of leave you around here until you can build those up. I'll let Bellacor kind of take over for now. There we go. A toxic reunion. Interesting. Oh, this is within relation to the Tsarina, too. Interesting. The Demon Prince Pro. Oh, I like that. I like that that we have this between uh, Katarin and uh, Yuri. That's cool. I, I really like that. If only... I would love... If... Oh, I could actually do this in like... Can you... Actually, I have to double check if you can do that with the, the actual main lords uh, from the description of what they said for Bellacor's um, uh, campaign mechanics. Um, oh, so actually, right here, I actually got quite a few units already for uh, Zinch. Perfect. Um, because it wasn't you that was grabbing them. Okay, so we will just have to have it so that I will queue up. So let's queue up. Yeah, right there. Two of those. And then two great clean ones. Don't know if I'm really going to want to wait seven turns for Lothar here. I might move forward sooner than that. We'll see. Because right now, at least, Bellacor, you, I can now just have go up this way. Um, and actually, I can have you just move over one turn. Uh, you can get at least one of the other normal Zinch Chaos Warriors around here. And then kind of keep pushing. Um, around here, let's get the better growth building. Try to get that and that. Unspent skill points. Um, this is on Epidemius. Let's have you get more of the uh, reduction upkeep, lightning strike, and then renowned fear for the movement. Hello, Nakari. Doesn't remind me. I think next turn uh, I might try and also just build some outposts. Join Worgen Scarbrand. Uh, no, he is my defensive ally. Even though you're offering me a glorious 600, I will not accept that. You guys have to get along. <laughs> Work together with me as I am the ever chosen. So, if you guys want to duke it out, fine. As long as you occasionally then make up 
and to decide to uh, turn your aggression towards the mortals instead. So before I forget, over here, let's upgrade this and this. Then we'll be able to slowly get that stuff that I want over there. Let's see, so back to uh, Lothar first. Lothar around here. Let's now start grabbing these units. So let's grab... There they are. There, there, and then there. So keep recruiting those units. Uh, Belicor, just move over literally one movement. Uh, go to here, go to the bridge. And then uh, I've got six of you, and I've got six of you. So we've actually got an even number on both. Honestly, I'm mine. I don't know, moving for it. Um, let's just grab another one of shields. Grab one of the shields. You can then try and hit um, Zoe's, uh, Zoe Shenki. Sorry, Zoe, sorry. Zoe Shenk. Um, you can go, Zoe Shenk. You can go there next turn. Um, you, let's see. Now we get to have the fun part. For now, we start making our way over to Kislev itself. So let's go there. Our replenishment is not the best. Oh, also, I can actually upgrade you guys to great weapons. Ooh, do I want great weapons? I don't know if I need to have you as great weapons, honestly. Um, but let's move you up to the border right there. Kind of move up there. I'll have you two together push to Kislev. And then around here. So what I will do is, let's see, I think. I can at least get some more uh, troops around here. There's a little bit more around here. I need to get, um, there, grab that. I'll move you guys up to around uh, Wolfenburg. Try to make your way over there. I can then try and recruit more of my forces around here. So keep making your way up there. And then I don't really have enough money to get anything else. Let's see, ah oh, yes, offering me more money and more non-aggression packs. I will take it. Another one add to the list. There you go. And then let's see. Uh, armies, let's see. So Lothar, you're gonna be sitting here for a couple turns. I'll let you keep doing that. Bellacor though is ready. Uh, you can barely hit this city. Just barely, Pyrrhic victory. I don't lose anything of import. Just kill them all off. And then um, around here, um, let's dedicate it to Zinch. I haven't dedicated one to Zinch for a while. So you can try and do that. And then I think... Are there any armies around here that could be a dick? No, I don't see any armies around here that could just randomly siege me and be a dick. So I will not do that. Uh, or I won't pull my army out to kind of let them continue replenishing. Uh, let's see, otherwise... Yeah, you're going to be sitting there, Lothar. Demon Knight Cervantes is still making his way on over. He is almost here. So he's about to here soon. These two, let's see, I can get one of you, uh, I'll have you wait. I'll have you wait on the edge here until this other army can group up with you, because at the moment, um, they do still have that attrition in their lands, so I think we'll kind of avoid pushing on there for right now. Same with you, I'll just move you a little bit. Uh, upgrade stuff around here. Um, oh, ah, oh yes. I'll bring you over this way, I'd say, probably to help with the corn units that I need to give my one army. Ooh, Krakadrak is now dead, finally. Took them long enough. Okay, let's see. So my lords, there's an army hasn't moved. Uh, Bellicor, let's see. So I kind of want you to focus on the... There's a lot over here. We're almost back to my original starting point. Um, let's have Bellicor, let's have you go towards the uh, Castle Alexandros. Let's have make sure you're going to be in garrison stands at the moment. Thanks you yeah, have quite a bit of damage. Just kind of From there, the keep pushing shadows. forward. You'll make your way over to the castle. Moving. You can go there. Uh, Epidemius, I think you two can finally push on into Kislev now. So continue that siege for just a second. Let me make sure I can get the reinforcements in range. We just have a little bit of everything helping out against Kislev. Let's see, what does that feel like? It says Valiant Defeat here. I don't trust that, especially since I have a lot of guys around here. Um, let me continue that siege just a second. I want to see if there's anybody else I want to do anything with. Demon's Advantage is still kind of just pushing forward. Uh, you're just still making your way up to try and actually have the units I want for you. So I'll actually have you force more stance, make your up to Wolfenburg, because then I can grab all of the Zinch warriors and stuff. I or Zinch. Um, oh, she doing flamers? Might not hurt to grab. I kind of upgrade that for right now. And then let us push on in here. So I will. All of you guys be AI controlled. Why not? I think we should be fine here. It says this is pretty bad for us. Um, I sadly don't have money to really bribe anybody of value, but I think that should be fine, as long as I don't hit my own fucking units with my soul riders. 
So, my reinforcements are coming from the south. I will focus my attention on the west here. So let's group you guys up, you guys up, and then my soul grinders up. I'll have my chaos warriors try and breach the... We'll go onto the walls, and then I'll have you guys try and breach the gates. I'll actually kind of switch you guys up based on where you're going. So, like, you three try and break this gate. The other three... I'll say try and break the other gate. Soul grinders, just do whatever the hell you guys want. I'll have my uh, heroes try and help out on the walls there. I'm not going to like assaulting this area. There's so much crap here on the walls here. Although at least my uh, soul grinders are doing a bit of damage before we even assault the city. So that's off to a good start. Also, I'm going to try and uh, group you guys up a little bit more based on like who's where. I want you to be grouped up together, please. Nope, can't do that. <sighs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. But yeah, let's just have it so you guys have half of you go over here, break this gate down. Kind of rush on in, number-wise. We do outnumber them by a decent margin. Get some furies around back here. Try and distract these units. They are just giving me the gates for the most part, which is nice. Uh, still going to be a couple... Uh, it's, it's about a minute and 40 until my allies get here. Even with just my army, bounce power is actually still pretty decent. So hopefully, once they get here, it's just going to be kind of finishing them off, mopping them up. So my chaos warriors keep trying to push forward there. Gates... Almost down. Chaos Warriors just keep trying to push on forward. So those gates are almost down too. There we go. Gates are destroyed at the same time. Uh, Furies, I need to remember to use you. Okay. Let's have my forces kind of generically push forward. Uh, I can kind of move my Soul Grinders up a little bit closer. Might be able to still hit people still. So let's kind of do that. Up. Chaos Warriors, I'll have you kind of focus on the left side. Do you try and go over here? I'll have my monstrous type infantry units kind of go on the right side and try and focus on taking the center point up here. So I'm just not doing anything just yet. That's fine. You at least you can hit this guy. Keep trying to focus on him. Heroes, I think you're good as you are. Uh, although a lot of you are slowed right now because of Pathy. Awesome. Well, here I go, possibly sacrificing my own men again. Start unloading with the soul grinders around here as there's a lot of blobs over in this area. Uh, all of you guys are holding really well. My Chaos Warriors, however, might not be. <laughs> so try and hit back here. There's a lot of blobbed up men around here. If I can get some good hits with my soul grinders, that'll do a lot of damage. Just please don't hit my, my own men. Yeah, those are some okay hits there. That's okay, that's okay. Chaos Warriors aren't all dying just yet. Yeah, is the key, key for a phrase there. Get a couple more hits around here, and I think I'm gonna have to turn my attention somewhere else. So at the moment, that's okay. That's okay. Let's actually have you stop there. Try and hit that little Grom, I'd say. That's enough damage there, I think. That's fine. Don't want to push my luck and accidentally kill all of my own men. Let's see. I did lose. No, one of my guys is running. Uh, my allies are still slowly making their way on over here. Just trying to have the Soul Grinders take out this little Grom. Because you guys are slowly pushing through here. I'm going to have you try and focus on the Lord more specifically. Uh, get some more Furies around here. You kind of help out with all the other random units. So, they finally triggered their um, unlimited morale. And they should be breaking any second now. But my allies are just doing nothing over there still. My Soul Grinders. I love how much damage these Soul Grinders can do. Although it's so dangerous that they can they just hit my own my men and absolutely just decimate them. Like this guy here, he did like, what, 90-something kills? 10,000 damage. I love the Soul Grinders for Nurgle. Soul Grinders for Nurgle are so fun to use. As long as you don't care about friendly fire, that is. So as long as you don't care about that tiny little maybe important detail. Uh, so Soul Grinders of Nurgle are really great. Although I really still need to play a proper, like, just full, just straight up, just only Nurgle campaign. And with all the other units they have that are pretty good fodder. Like, it's not as bad. But for these armies that I have, I did lose one Chaos Warrior. Uh, it's a little bit worse for us. Um, let's say for... Oh, yes. I'm going to sack it. I want all that money. All that money. Let's go back over there. Oh, I don't want to put that on him. Uh, and then let's have you actually just... Uh, oh, you're still in force march. Oops. Uh, let's actually occupy this for... Well, it was originally for Corn and Nurgle. I'll say no. Let's go there. And then I just need to now get you guys to take some replenishment. Uh, I do need to try and have you get another Chaos Warrior. Um, corn, as we did lose some around here. Uh, I'll just do that next turn. Um, once I can put you into your thing, I'll definitely have you get more focus. Um, and then I think from there, I need to get... 
Let's do start spamming some of these so you can get some more spells, especially the heal. So grab that. And then your yeah, hero has some rank ups, which will just kind of go fill up a lot of those. You've also got some rank ups. Uh, you don't have this maxed out yet. So let's hope. Don't want that one. I only want. Doot, 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 doot. And then let's say. So for you, I do have some. Yeah, here we go. I'll upgrade your Keepers of Secrets and everything there. Okay. Uh, you also need to upgrade. Uh, let's give you better training. Um, better hit stuff there. The abilities I think we'll kind of ignore for right now. I don't care too much. Get some more health. And then I think that's good for all of you. Chislev, we just need to repair everything. And then also... Ooh, what can I get around here? Oh, I can also get this stuff too. Even as, uh, demons. That's interesting. Okay, let's just get the better growth building there. Oh, actually, I'll no, get the better control building. We have a lot of growth just from inherent stuff with, uh, my bloodletting. Other armies, let's see, Demonite Cervantes, you're still slowly making your way over here. I don't even know if you're going to be able to get any proper combat. I'm hoping you do. Like, let's say you kind of make your way up here specifically. Go up that way, you can kind of join up on that front. Otherwise, all my other armies have moved. I now just have a lot of building to do. Ooh, let's see, more legions or more relations? I think I want to focus on more of the relations. And I also have a decent amount of money, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Uh, so now what we're going to do is, let's see, so I need to start trying to... I'm going to have you guys... Let's see, I'll have you guys go down this way. Well, first we have to actually also make sure we're going to grab that Chaos Warrior for you first. So kind of go about there. And then I'll have it so you go into Encampment Stance. Grab that Chaos Warrior. Next turn you'll be able to keep pushing out. And then I'll have you two keep working together. I'm going to have you kind of go down south towards Wurzen, I would say. Um, my other army right here. You're almost Wolfenberg. Lothar has now been able to get a decent amount of those guys recruited. Um, what is going on over here with this building? You are one turn away from being able to get a Lord of Change. Okay, good thing I am going to be getting one more um, Great Unclean one. So I can have you just start grabbing that. And then I think I'm just going to get, get rid of these two units and I'll just replace them with the Lords of Change. I'll probably just do that. So like, let's go back over here, get a, another Great Unclean one. I don't know why it's taking four turns instead of three. Um, and then I will just disband these guys. Disband those. You've served me well! And I'll be able to start recruiting some uh, great uh, Lords of Change next turn. Uh, Bellicor. Let's see, you're about another turn or two away from that city. And then Demonite Cervantes, you're still making your way forward. Let's see, are you going to offer a defensive alliance this time? Uh, no, military access. Fine by me. Still a little bit of money here and there. I don't bind. Let's see, so now I should be able to strike... Ooh. Yeah, sure, choose the influence. Uh, Grisenwald is now sieged. Ooh. Can you fuck off, please? Who <laughs> win again? You're back once more, you asshole. Okay, well, I'm going to recruit a little bit around from Wolfenberg, and then make my way back down there, because I can get at least a bit from around here. I can get some pinkores. Um, I do have enough to go into encampment stance as well, although that me uh, that's going to be uh, available for right now because you guys here, I should now have access to Lords of Change somewhere around here. There we go. Ooh, you only take two turns. Ooh, nice. You guys are way cheaper. That's nice. Okay, so grab those guys. That will be Lothar's army fully built up. Uh, then I can at least have it so that next turn, I might at least stay here one more turn. Then try and turn around, make my way back over here, and try and do it with you guys. I have, like, ten turns. All of you guys, let's see, I can almost hit Wurzen. Let's just kind of go to the edge a little bit. Uh, you don't need to be in Garrison Stance anymore, now that we are in Cannon Stance, sorry. Now that we have that one extra unit. So let's just sit one more turn here, then hit Wurzen. Uh, my bloodletting is not doing the best right now, so that's why the punishment's so low. Let's see, you... I think I want to grab... Uh, it doesn't really matter too much at this point. Uh, get some more health. Blade shield. Grab that. And then let's see. Bellicor can now move forward. Um, let's see. If I take you out of encampment stance, I can get the city. And what are the chances here? Close victory. If I lose anything of interest, nope, I don't. Okay, let's see if we gotta get them off. Um, around here, again, I really like the idea of having all my coastal areas be Slamesh. I just kind of find that funny. Um, having that be all of my ports just all being decadent in um, 
Slaneshi glory. So I kind of love that. So, Bellicor, uh, you, I would say, you'll kind of keep just like, hopping around here. You'll kind of focus on the northern sections for the most part. You can keep trying to do that. Um, let's see who else. So, Demon Cervantes, you're almost here. Okay, so you... So about here is when I'll take off your Force March. So next turn, I'll take off Force March, make my way over to uh, Sepulchal Z. Sepulchal Z. Oh my god. Sepulchal Z. Uh, you can make your way over there, try and hit the northern sections. Yes, what do you want to speak about? Military alliance! Offer more money, I'll accept it. I really do want to try and make sure that I have a military alliance with all the major demons before we're done here, honestly. I re Can you fuck off? Really? Really? You, you had to do that to Epidemius' army? Of course. Of course. Okay, let's have you guys hit Worzen now. I'm just gonna move uh, Epidemius up first, encircle it, and then we'll bring the other army in so that they can get some bloodletting in from this as well. So we kind of go right there and right there. Then you lead the assault, and then just should be able to push through that. And then uh, keep occupying that more for Zinch around there, as that is what we were originally dedicating it towards. And then you guys here, so you're getting some punishment. It'll take five turns until your guy gets back here. Um, in the meantime, I'll probably just keep kind of pushing my way forward to try and, um, let's see, out of here. We'll probably go for uh, Bolsograd next. You can go there. Lothar will be ready next turn. Uh, oh, sorry, two turns. Two turns from now. Uh, I'm going to have Bellicor make your way to about here. You can hit um, Labla next turn. Do you have an army here? We've got a decent garrison there, though, so we should be fine. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, Kois, I will have it so that now... I still can't get those other units. I will stay one more turn, at least. Stay one more turn, grab at least some more uh, pink horrors, because I can get some other random units down south if I really need to. Um, other skill points, deadly onslaught, blade to shield, and then, for the most part... Uh, oh, that was also the lord that hasn't gotten their stuff, too. Um, let's give you more stuff for the Keeper Secrets and Soul Grinders. And then the other units you have in here My are the Fiends of Slanesh. Is there anything that increases that for you guys? Yeah, Fiends of Slanesh, so more charge bonus. Yeah, just more speed, more charge bonus. Grab that for them. And then all my other armies. Demon Cervantes, okay, so now... Pushing up here. Next turn, I will take you off of Force March. But now you can start trying to help out with the northern areas and start applying pressure up here. I'm not joining the war against Scarbrand. Get the fuck along, Nakari. I am the Abbot Chosen, so I demand that you get along or I'll have to force you. Or I should force you, I guess, is one thing I should possibly do to make it so that you guys are working together. Because literally, it's just Scarbrand's the only one I'm not actually fully allied with. I'm allied with Kairos. I'm allied with Kugan. I'm allied with Nakari. And there we go. Now we've got Lords of Change as well here. Perfect. I'll re uh, scroll through this if you guys are interested in reading along with what this says about the Lords of Change. Lords of Change the command. This was not only this weapon is command. Uh, tactician. House knowledge. Uh, entry. Nice. Okay. So now we can move out Lothar's army. So let's have Epidemius and everybody. Oh. Oh, we can now finally have Epidemius be able to exile the Great Clean One. Damn right. There we go. Now we have finally have had we've had one ascension for Zinch, one ascension for Nurgle. Hopefully you survived this time, unlike what happened last time. So now we have your now Emon, an exalted Great uh, uh, Great Clean One. Nice. So let's get that, that, and then we're gonna get more of the Nurgle corruption, um, and then max out this again there you go and then we do want to get the stuff for the healing there you go A new way to there you go uh, and how many more turns until your hero comes back he is three turns away okay. I will keep making my way up towards uh, Bolsagrad for right now though he should also spawn kind of around here for the most part so it shouldn't be too long until we get him uh, you've got to rank up. Let's just have you get more training, and I would say... Uh, oh, I didn't get you. You did now. Okay, grab that. Demonite Cerny Vantes. Uh, you can barely hit this city. Nice. Okay, hit that. Uh, I don't lose anybody. That's fine. So we can just push on in here. And you... I haven't dedicated something to corn in a while. So let's dedicate you to corn up here. Then, let's see, let's get the uh, control building, 
grab the growth building and then grab the money building. And then you've got some rank ups here. Let's go with, um, where's, I want stuff that gives blood crushers. Yeah, blood crushers of corn. Grab that. And then the infantry I have in this, oh, I don't have any infantry, so I'll just have to pick like six, I need six points there. I'll have you start upgrading your melee stats then. The other guy didn't give me rank ups, okay, that's fine. And then Bellicor, um, let's see. You're fine, right? Lose almost all my Chaos Warriors, fuck it. <laughs> I don't care. At this point we're so close to, oh wow. You almost died there. You were really fucking close. Oh, shit. Occupy that for scene, Slanesh. Wow. Ouch. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Um, I am going to have you stand outside. Stand outside, as that's not going to be uh, good if they decide to try and attack you. Bellicor himself, uh, he's at about half health. That should be fine. Ah, that hurt. Okay. You guys here... They're still sieging me down south, correct? Yeah, they are. Okay, let's bring our forces back down this way. Hello, Throt. Hello. Ah, oh, you're over military access. Sure. I love how he's just sitting there, just like, he's trying to do some stuff around here, just not getting anywhere, really. Oh, let's see, the faction was destroyed. Um, let's see what's going on. I need to make sure that uh, Bellicor, you're going to keep just slowly building your army up again. So go into a cannon stance. Kind of make your way up towards the city no. here. And then just keep slowly getting more uh, Chaos Warriors back into your army. Just like those guys and these guys. They have to love how much they're just fodder. I'll grab the Furies as well. Why not? Grab all of you. Let's see. Lothar. Yes, Lothar's finally ready. Okay, let's have Lothar make his way up towards uh, Grushkial. Or Grushkial? Yeah, Grushkial. Grushkial, you can go make your way over there. Good. Okay. And then I'm gonna have it so. Ooh. Let's have uh, you try and hit Bolsograd. Let's have you start seeding that and circle that for just a second. Because this looks like this is where they've brought. Because Stolten is back. So let's have you two kind of sit around here. And then what are the chances? Well, 17 turns of sieging. I'm gonna have you guys encircle that. That's a lot of guys. They're trying to have one final defense around there, I see. So I'll type you, kind of grab that. This is some uh, red no caravan. Demonites or Vantes. Uh, you need to keep making your way over here. Should be fine. Push up in here. I will lose those cabinets, though. I don't like that as idea, so let us just assault this ourselves. We should be able to save those units and um, take the city. Now we get to also see this army properly in battle. Uh, Demonite Cervantes with all of his knights. His Knights of Zinch, his Knights of Znergle, his Knights of Korn, his Knights of Sinesh, one of everything! Oh man, I love this army. Because we'll probably have it so that we'll have the Blood Crushers rush in first, because they're just amazing in melee. They can rush in first, same with the Pox Riders, and then I'll have the Doom Knights kind of flank, and then also the um, Heart Seekers also flank as well. Because for the most part, they have, they have a ton of infantry. They have a couple of little skirmishers that could be a pain. And then they've got their Griffin Legion, but hey, I've got Blood Crushers. Blood Crushers can easily take on uh, Winged Lancers. They are so much better. I, again, they're my favorite cab unit. By far my favorite cab unit. Although, I actually kind of like the Doom Knights. Like, I don't mind them. Um, they're just... I haven't been able to properly play as just Zinch as much, so I feel like I'd probably like them almost as much as I liked um, Blood Crushers if I got to properly use them throughout an entire campaign. Many of you also have uh, Vanguard Diplomats and Serav. All of you guys group you together. You're going to be my main cab force. Here. And then I'll have these two be separate. So I'll have the Doom Knights there. And all of you guys all kind of maybe go just over to the side here. But start the battle. Also, I should have you guys. So, go forth! Ride forth for chaos. Uh, Doom Knights, all of you guys kind of go up in the high ground kind of areas. Um, are there anybody, any units over here really? Oh, there's some Streltsy and stuff. I have like half of you go over for those Coast Stars of Spears, half of you for the Streltsy, and then ignore the Czar Guard for the most part. Just look at this. The Ride of the Knights of Cervantes. Also, I just fucking love this. The blood crushes look so badass. Yes, lead them with your chariots. 
Oh man, I should actually switch you back to a blood crusher, sadly. But it's fine. I can kill one. Uh, you do have an ability on you, though, as well. Oh, that's a hack. That's not a great one. That's fine. But yeah. Push on forward into these guys. They'll hold for a time, but not for very long when you can combo the poison of Nurgle and the prowess of Korn. Let's see. Doom Knights. Yeah, let's get you. Let's get you guys, like, around here and have you kind of charge in their backside, I'd say. Uh, I will spawn some. Furies over here. Try and have you guys deal with their archers. How are you guys doing over here? Are oh, you guys doing okay when you weren't fighting the Zargard? You're good over there. These units need to run away a little bit, though. Get back over here. Doom Knights, I'm gonna have you all try and hit these units here. Let's have you try and deal with the Streltsy. Furies, try and hit those units right there. There you go. Yeah, kind of charge on in. Do quite a bit of damage to the frequency. And I'll probably have to try and get you guys out of there and back over to maybe hit something. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, hit the Ice Guard as well. Damn it, wasn't paying attention. I lost one of my Heart Seekers. That's fine. We can try and get another one of them quickly recruited. I don't think it'll take too long. I think it'll just take like two turns for us. And then we can kind of keep pushing. We have enough armies around here that I don't have to worry specifically about one army kind of lacking behind a little bit from everybody else because everybody just has to like spread out and conquer all the rest of Kislev. Yeah, seven that was one of them. That's fine. I will take some time around here to get another one. That's right here. Let's have you just start. Oh, the global recruitment is taking up right now. I'll at least queue it up. So they are right there. Oh, it's only taking one, two turns uh, just because it's used up in the moment. Okay, perfect. Uh, then we can get a rank up for you. I will say... Again, none of these are really, really all that useful. Um, let's just get you more physical resistance and some more melee defense, I would say. And then you've also got some rank ups, I think. Um, let's get you more hunt. And then that should be good for you guys. Other units, our lords. Um, you're still making your way down south to go help out around here. It'll take you eh, two ish, three ish turns around to get there. And before I end this turn, I'm actually thinking I'm going to uh, fight this battle here and take out Gristaldon. Uh, I do want to switch who's fighting here, so let's kind of switch out which one is attacking, as I want to use the Soul Grinders here, because um, I think if we can take out this army, this is like the main defense they still have. Uh, let's make sure you're controlled by the AI, and then kind of assault this, because thankfully, they focused all of their attention onto the areas that don't have walls. <laughs> So they have a lot of their defenses around areas that I can just freely shoot with my soul grinders. Because these great war, or these war bear riders, there's a lot of them. But they're big targets for me to just hit with my soul grinders. So hopefully we can just beat them back here, get rid of Sultan. And then for the most part, pretty much every other region that Kislev has under their control right now is not that difficult to deal with. They're all spread out. There's not a lot of their armies anymore. We've kind of scattered them to the wind for the most part. Don't like the, what the balance of power is initially, but we'll try this. So start deployment, start the battle. I will kind of hold off on advancing in too aggressively initially, just because I want to make sure that we can properly try and unload on them with my soul grinders. Let's have you guys go up there, there, and there. You guys kind of move forward. My great unclean ones and everybody kind of move up right here, off the side more so. And then my... I love that we at least got you to be a great unclean one. I love it, so we have more of you. Yeah, I still don't have that many... Oh, I hate that we haven't, don't have your spells anymore, though. Let's see, so where are your war bell riders? Because for the most part right now, um, I think I can have my soul grinders initially try and get over here and hit this unit, hit that Kosars. You can try and hit them. Slowly move forward with my Chaos Warriors. Let's try and make our way over to this capture point. Okay, so they are interrupting me from getting to this point. Uh, Soul Grinders, I'm trying to have you keep focusing on any random units I see that can easily blo uh, hit up that are blobbed. They do have some of their War Bear Riders making their way over here. Maybe I should have actually grabbed the great weapons for you guys to get a bit of better of a chance against these guys. I think it'll be probably pretty even for you guys against the War Bear Riders, but focus them down. Uh, let's see, they've got some more men over here. Slowly trying to get my Soul Grinders to kill all of you. Uh, elemental bears are making their way over this way. Uh, I'm gonna try and have some of my Chaos Warriors make their way over to Castalton. My allies are making their way on over, so you guys can start trying to push on in. Maybe you'll actually do more this time than last time. Now here's the problem. Um, these war bears are going to be... The... Now here's the problem. These elemental bears are, um, kind of kicking my ass. Just a little bit. Uh, my... Uh, soul grinders. I'm still having you keep trying to focus on any of the infantry they have still. Some of you are starting to run out of ammo. 
Um, I think I'm actually going to bring, like, you guys over here to try and help out in this section. So you try and do that, and I should also try and use some of these abilities on these Warbear Riders as the moment. I'm doing okay, but man, is it hurting over here. Uh, I actually think, like, right now, my allies have been able to take one point. My army's getting its ass kicked right now. Uh, balance power-wise, we have about 200 men over them at the moment. But they're starting to kind of pull ahead, and I really don't like that. I do think I'm going to bring you over here to kind of help out with our forces here. My great unclean ones... Right ahead, you guys hit them with their abilities right there and right there, I would say. And then, for the most part, I'm gonna try and bring my soul grinders to help out over here. Soul grinders kind of go over there. My chaos warriors of corn have all broken, and that's kind of expected. They don't have a really good chance against elemental bears right now, so I'll have to hope that my allies can start doing a bit more. Okay, they've just almost about taken out Kostalton over here, he's about half health now. Um, I'm getting my ass kicked. Uh, my forces over here aren't really able to do a ton to these uh, elemental bears. Uh, I can at least keep trying to reduce their melee attack, but that's about all I can do. Uh, I've lost one of my soul grinders already. I'm trying to fight them with what I've got around here. Number-wise, at least we outnumber them by almost two to one. It's just at the moment, these elemental bears are kicking my ass. I'm hoping that if Kostalton dies, which he's pretty close, he is currently surrounded by the fiends. If we can take him out, then everybody should start breaking, ideally? Because otherwise, again, these these uh, elemental bears right now are absolutely kicking my ass. I'll keep trying to harass them if I can. Keep trying to have all of you guys focus on the same unit, ideally. Try and focus on like this one elemental bear. Because the moment this one's kind of slowly dying, this one's pretty much full health, this one's slowly dying. Okay, practically everything's now broken now that they've been able to take out Kostalton. I'm about to lose my lord. Please don't. I just got you. I just got you to be a great unclean one. I Please, I really don't want you to die. So let's try and have you run out of here. Because it's just the elemental bears aren't breaking at the moment. Everybody else has given up. So I just need to try and, like, let's take some points over here. Just keep trying to get my lord away. Elemental bears are slowly dying. I'm actually going to make sure you're out of that group. Um... God, let's see, I take two more. I've taken out one of them at least, that's something. Oh, there we go. I took so much damage for that. Oh, that was painful. But, kostalton has been dealt with. Um, I may keep most of my army? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> Maybe, I'll have to see. I'm definitely going to make sure, uh, if I have the chance, I'm going to upgrade those Minotaurs to have great weapons, as that would have helped immensely. So I only lost... So, three soul grinders, one Minotaur, and one Chaos Warrior of Nikon. That's not that bad, actually. I'm okay with this. Ooh, I actually got a good item from there. Nice. So, I will dedicate this to Zinge, as I've been dedicating anything else to Zinge around here. And then I will... There we go. Flaming tax too in there. You're going to be down. Um, so, let us... Uh, we are doing global recruitment right now. Okay. Um, I'll queue up the stuff. So, we'll get... So, Soul Grinders, I lost three Soul Grinders, and then I lost a Minotaur and a Chaos Warrior Corn. Ooh, actually, I almost want to get a Soul Grinder. Yeah, let's get a Soul Grinder we'll Corn. Get that, I don't have enough money for anything together. else, so I can't upgrade these right now, I want to. I want to upgrade those. I'll have to kind of wait until next turn, we get a little bit more cash. Uh, I do have quite a bit of rank up, so let's have you, um... I'll put this still. That's not a bad thing to have there. And then we want to get the stuff for you. Yeah, keep your secrets. And then the allure of Slanesh. Do that. And then I think for now, let's actually kind of start upgrading your stats now. Most and then this one. Keep you more training. Slanesh. And Blade Shield, Woundmaker. And then that should be good for you. And then this army. The hey, well, this I need you to get your. your, your uh, I really need you to get your uh, spells. So let's kind of upgrade all of these. Get the heal, the fleshy abundance. And there we go. That's so you can grab that. You guys definitely need some time to replenish. And then that is all you guys. So what do you want to discuss? I'm assuming more, yep, more military access. I'll take it. I do need to actively try and uh, see if Scarbrand will give me an actual military alliance instead of just being defensive alliance. Um, I'll wait until we've killed uh, Kislev. Because Kislev is getting close to that. Uh, let's see you now. I need to make sure that we're just going to get the 
Uh, Chaos Warrior of Corn, and then children is a delight. get another one maybe. Actually, no, let's not do it. Let's get. Um, children. I do kind of want some more mentors, but I think having the the let's get like one more Which view, of you and then one more of the soldiers. There we go. So in three turns, this army will be ready. They'll be probably fully replenished by about that time anyways. Uh, you've got to rank up. Let's have you upgrade to Blade, I'd say. And then let's see. So, Bellacor. I can... Uh, there's only like 12 units in there. Fingers. I can have you guys probably assault this next turn. I want to have you get you some more time mine. to get some more troops. Uh, just get some I more Furies and some more replenishment. Let's see. Uh, Lothar. You are ready. Uh, I'm going to have Yuki making your way over. Let's see if you go hit Prog. Prog's kind of probably ooh, undefended at the moment, it looks like. Let's see another. Oh, they actually. Ooh. They are kind of collecting their forces together. Hmm. Good for you guys. It's not going to matter when everybody's coming to bat on you. Because, like, you'll be ready next turn. You need just more time to replenishment. And you are trying to bring yourselves down here. You can hit that army next turn. Uh, another one added on to the Ever Chosen's Parade. Sure, why not? I'll accept you as well. Soon we will have everybody under our control. Um, uh, let's see how this is going. Ah, uh, uh, let's let's try and fight this. I think we can try and do this. Might be able to still beat these guys back. Otherwise, it's withdrawing. This does at least mean they're off of the city now. Um, I think my pink horrors might be able to do a decent amount of damage. As long as my Furies can try and distract their Iron Drakes and everybody. Their infantry is also pretty beat up. So I'm, I'm hoping that my Chaos Warriors of Corn will be able to hold against these guys. I'm a little concerned that we have three of them, so we might not be able to. Because the balance power on the battle map is actually not that bad. It's pretty even. Uh, hopefully my Pink Ores are going to be able to kind of bring it into our favor a little bit more. Oh, you guys are doing some good damage initially against those Swordmasters of Hoeth. That's good. Uh, I'm going to try and get a Breath Attack as you guys are trying to move on up this way. That was too early. Shit. That's fine. That's fine. At least you guys are taking a lot of damage from my guys. Because number-wise, we do outnumber them slightly. At least a little bit. It's probably really just because we have so many Pink Ores. As long as you guys can just keep unloading on them. Which, ah, uh, they still have the Iron Breakers. Ah, uh, that I don't like. Let's see. I'm going to try and see if you can still snipe the general with this ability. It was doing a little bit last time. I'm going to need to try and keep doing that. Because as soon as he dies, most of their forces should break. Uh, my Furies, you're going to be trying to focus on these guys in a second. I want to spawn more of them. As that's a bit of an issue. Uh, they sent some hammers here. Let's try and hit the hammers. Well, actually, let's do a different angle. I'm going to make sure we do the right angle so we don't accidentally hit my own uh, infantry units. Like there. It's going to hit my pink core a little bit. But try and hit you. My lord, specifically kind of go over around here a little bit and shoot this guy. Keep trying to shoot them. Uh, this Fury, you need to distract those Iron Breakers. My infantry is doing well, though. Balance power-wise, things are doing well. I'm going to have you keep trying to hit the lord. Keep trying to do that. You guys are... Let's have you just pull back a little bit. You should try and hit those Iron Drakes back there. Try and hit those Iron Drakes. You guys are just supposed to be trying to angle yourselves a little bit more and pulling them further away from them so they have to get closer to me. You've got another breath attack ready. I'd say... Let's put that here. Put that on top of those guys. Put that over there. This hammer unit's almost dead. The Iron Drakes back there are slowly dying, but at the moment, things are going well. A little bit closer than I'd like, and at the moment, I'm having to just run my lord up in uh, close range trying to shoot the, with them with uh, blue fire. Because this is worthless. This has no armor-piercing damage whatsoever, so I'm trying to avoid using it. Uh, some of my guys are starting to run out of ammo. I'm going to have to run you guys into melee in a second here. All of my pink horrors right now, I'm trying to have you occasionally throw things at the enemy lord. Because right now, they just have a couple like really beefy infantry that are still alive. The enemy lord ran away again. He's, he'll come back eventually. But it's just the fact that you guys have such high armor that I'm struggling to beat them back. I never thought I'd have to use one of you guys in melee, but I did. Barely won that, because they had such heavy fucking armor. God damn. But hey, this guy's able to survive. This area is now clear. Uh, my Chaos Warriors of Corn are still alive, it looks like. So hopefully Hu Wen is finally out of here so we can kind of get rid of him and start trying to get a proper army back together. Aw, uh, you guys... Uh, did you seriously have to wound him? He just recently came back. Okay, that's great. That's why. 
Uh, oh, you're okay. At least this one Blood Reaper is ready for duty again. Okay, so we can bring you back over into Amon's army. Uh, oh, shit. He have an extra Let's get rid of the Minotaurs. And you can join back up with his army. And also, I am going to try and have it so that you guys, now that I've got the money, let's upgrade you to have great weapons. And I think that will be very useful to have. Is that was really the thing that we struggled with when we tried to take this area. Um, just upkeep for corn units. Nice. Um, now, looks like Katarn is running away. Let's have you guys kind of push in here, because there's not a lot around the city then. So I'm have you lead the assault in circle for a second. And then I'll bring Lothar in to support you. Uh, this way I can just get you a little bit closer to becoming a Keeper of Secrets, Exalted Keeper of Secrets. So you can keep trying to do that. There we go. Not going to lose anything for that. And also kind of give you guys more bloodletting. Continue trying to get that to Zinch, so we can finish that area off. And then it looks like, okay, so right now, let's see, you've got to rank up. I may actually be able to get you to a Keeper of Secrets soon, too. Ooh, uh, yeah, I'm going to grab this one. Let's grab that one, and then I'm going to keep giving you more thick-skinned and everything along those Such lines. Rank up there. You'll be ready next turn. You're still a little low on troops, but that's okay. And then I need to start taking Demonites or Banties here. And let's see. So I don't know what's around here. And you're a low, so I'm a little worried about you. Um, let's see, so I can get to about... Here, that's a 75% ambush chance. Let's try and go, like, right here. And there's an army. Yeah, well, let's kind of sit here and ambush dance. Kind of see what's going on, because I can see one army here. Ooh. Oh, like, Stolten's already back again. God damn it. I just recently killed you. Let's see. Uh, Bellicor looks like they've got an army here that I can try and take. Take out. Try and push it there. Really? You guys seriously think you have a chance against Bellicor here? Sure. Like my soul grind is alone, I'll slaughter in your army. And now, let's see, ooh yes, you have a lot of cav. And I'm gonna have an upcast spell right here on top of your lord, and Bellicor is going to slaughter all of you. Let's see, as soon as it casts, mm-hmm, 1300 damage. Mm-hmm, yes, yes, yes. Uh, that was about... Fifteen thousand damage, in one ability. Why do you think you can compete with uh, uh, Bellacor here? Seriously. You guys stood no chance, and it said that was like, what, a close defeat? <laughs> God, the auto is always interesting at times. Like, uh, Bellacor, let's see, Bellacor did 25,000 damage, my Soul Grinders did 8,000, 5,000, 9,000, 8,000. Even my Furies did a decent amount of damage across the board here. Hey, you killed some, not a ton, but some. So there goes that army, because now, once we take this, um... Bellicor only has, like, what? How many more cities do we have to take from Kislev? So there's one, two, three, four, five. So there's five up here, two down here, and then that should be about it. So we'll have it so uh, Bellicor, I'll have him keep kind of pushing north. I hope that they don't really have much else around these areas, so I can easily have you just keep pushing in. Um, goal recruitment is full, filled up. Uh, you know, fuck it. Let's get some spawns of Slanesh randomly, just so you can have some more random fodder. I don't really care too much about them, as Bellicor does everything. Let's see. You down here, since you were able to beat them back. Uh, this force here, let's see. How do they feel about that? Please, I want to finish them off. Ah, they're still not in range. Damn it. Okay. Eh, those are just all Nurgle units again. I don't want them. Uh, over here, we finally have it so I can get some of my um, pink horrors around this area. I don't have the thing that's built up that lets me get uh, any of my Chaos Warriors around here for corn. Or Actually, we can get the pink horrors here. And then I believe... I had... Yeah! Ooh, I actually have all... Oh, I could get some really nice corn units over here. Yes, yeah, I'm still riders too. So yeah, I'll bring you guys back over here eventually. So I'm gonna assign skill points um, for Koyas again. Let's get that, that. And then we want to get... Uh, definitely get the upgrades for the uh, pink ores. As they just need more weapon damage, honestly. Ah, uh, yes, more men added to... Oh, military lines. Yes! Join the ever-chosen Beggar's Train today. Uh, more spawns of Slanesh. Again, if you guys are interested in seeing what this is saying, I will scroll th through it. There we go. Scroll through it so you guys can kind of read more about them if you are interested. Uh, but now we can have it so that Bellicor here. Let's have Bellicor keep pushing up towards the fort right here. Because I'll have Bellicor keep focusing on the northern section. Going to lose some Furies. I don't care about that. Um, I'll have you keep kind of pushing up this way. Keep dating that to Slanesh right now. Because there's now only about four regions up here specifically, so I'll have Bellicor keep pushing here. I'm even just going to keep getting the spawns of Slanesh. I just need some sort of random fodder unit, and these guys are locally available, so we can grab them. Um, now, with what's going on around here. So, 
We only need to take Prague, and then we also need to take uh, Fort Ostrakosk. Ostrakosk? Ostrakosk. Something on those lines. Um, I'll have it so that let's take a Lothar, and let's start making you. Are we going to take attrition going through here? No, we're not. Okay, good. So they, that ability of theirs is no longer active. Let's move you and you. Let's you'll have you to be a little bit further back. So that way you can still get a little bit more punishment on these units. I'll have you guys try and regroup and join up with Demonite Cervantes, who I'll have keep pushing forward a little bit. And if you keep staying in the forest as you are isolated and alone, you can only get up to a 75% chance with your ambushes. So right about there. So you keep slowly moving on up. And then M1 is ready as well. So you're ready. Let's have you get your hero again. And let's go... Let's see. I want you to go around this way. I want a little bit more punishment for those Minotaurs. So we'll just go to about here. Just to the edge of the our borders. That's good for all of you. Uh, we need to keep slowly giving you an army. I can now actually upgrade these guys. Uh, I need to be a little bit closer to the city. So... We'll have you try and upgrade them. Yeah, keep trying to chase this asshole. Keep trying to chase him. We'll keep trying to make our way over to work bad and everything. Because, again, this will be probably a pretty good area for me to grab some corn warriors and everything around there. I think the six units of um, pink horrors will be enough for right now. Uh, also, there's just another area around here I can go into to try and grab more stuff for Zinch specifically. So you can kind of make your way there. Mm, can you not Kestalt in here? Let's see, I'm gonna try and withdraw and see if we can get away. We were able to. Good. So now he's actually kind of isolated and alone, and we might be able to try and have it so that Lothar can turn around and finish off Kestaltan. Although, he respawned way faster than I was expecting to, so hopefully we can just kill him off while he's away from Prague. Now he's beginning a construction of the outpost. Uh, Northern Oblast is sieged. That's a... I am no slave. What is with these rogue armies actually doing a lot? Like, you guys are doing way more than Kislev is, which is kind of funny. Okay. Uh, ooh, what's this about? Caught in the act, Formicators. You know, I'll kind of slowly scroll through this for anybody that is interested in reading more about it. looks like it's more interactions between Yuri and uh, Katarina, possibly. That's what it kind of looks like for the most part. Cool. I like this. I don't know where this is originating from. This is like other supplemental material they had at somewhere other uh, the place, but I'm not sure. Um, okay, so they've got, yeah, those armies are around here. So let's see. So we need to do... <sighs> okay, so they kind of pushed you across the river, did they not? Yes, they did. Okay. What we can do... That's Krog. I think what we can do here... Let's see. How much range do you have? You can hit this guy. Awesome. Ah, oh, you're gonna run. Damn it. I wanted to lure them out of the city. Because I can have it so the Demonite Cervantes here. Yeah, so you're gonna, you can't technically siege it, which is stupid. Technically, I can. So I'll just get something. Uh, continue that siege for a second. I was hoping we could have just assaulted that immediately, but sadly, no. Um, Amon can't get close enough either to help siege it. So that... Oh, actually, no, Lothar can just do that. So we can just bring Lothar. Let's have uh, Demonite Cervantes. You break off the siege. Lothar can hit it. So Lothar can hit the siege. You can hit that. We can easily take Prague then. They say close victory, my ass. Am I going to lose anybody in Demon Knight Army? Now no. Is the time okay. of conquest. So you can go right here, and I want to sack it. I want more money. I want more money, and then just claim it again. And I'll dedicate this to Slanesh. Let's do that. Dedicate to Slanesh. And then you guys just need to kind of watch over this area. Still be a couple turns until my um, my lord comes back. And then what I'm going to do here is, let's see, so... Artisan of pain. They're really trying to push over here. They really are. Okay, let's regroup though. Let's kind of regroup over this way. Let's have you kind of try and regroup with Amon if you can. Oh, you have to cross. Let's do this. Let's put you into the city. That way there's at least some sort of a garrison with you. And then I'll have Amon regroup with Lothar and with Demonite Cervantes. Well, Cervantes will also not be turned into a bloodthirster. Um, let's grab this one, I'd say. The boost around you is going to be really nice. So grab that. And then I think, so for this army, it's only really that upgrade that matters. I think we'll just keep upgrading your yellow line here. Keep getting murder and everything there. And then you also have some rank ups. Let's get some more cleave and some more crush. Do that. You guys are all good. Bellacore. Let's see. Uh, my borders... How far did they go? Follow Ogu's winds. This isn't my borders now. Okay, so that's fine. 
I'm gonna have you just keep pushing. Keep pushing. There's not a lot around here, so I think you should be able to easily walk over these areas. Um, you've got to rank up. Um, but let's get you also this. I really like that one. Grab that, and then I'll give you more... I forgot that down slot. Let's get more wound maker. There you go. You guys just keep kind of watching over that area, and I believe that's all my armies for right now. Because you're still, well, you're still trying to slowly catch this army, but also trying to get over to work bad. So make your way over to work bad, then you can start building your forces. Jesus, Castalton, you are a mad lad. You are aggressive as hell. So uh, I'm gonna try and see what I can do here. But there are so many armies. They have so many forces. They have three full stack armies here to try and attack us. And uh, we'll see what we can do. I'm definitely going to be losing my uh, Slanesh's Nurgle army here, I feel like. But we can see how much damage we can do. Okay, so most of my defense is going to be focused around this central point around here. My Zinch uh, garrison, I'll have you guys go forward. And then I've got all of my guys around here that I can use to kind of flank the enemy forces. So can you go over to those Armaco Sars. And then I'm going to have the Keepers of Secrets as well, kind of half out over here. I'll have these Fiends first kind of rush over and hit this one Ice Guard unit. And ideally, we can kind of maybe flank this spot here where Kristalton's at, try and just delay them long enough to get the towers to be able to do as much damage as possible. Uh, some of the reinforcements are starting to get here. I've killed about, like, what, just 50, 60 guys so far. Not a ton, but it's off to a good start. Things are holding. We're doing okay at the moment. Uh, we've killed about a thousand of them so far. Uh, their entire arm, all their reinforcements aren't here just yet. Uh, for the most part, we've been holding as well as we can. We've been able to get two of these towers upgraded to max. It's the only points I control now at this point. But as long as we can keep holding as we are, this might not be the worst. I have to take out Kostalton and Katarina, who are both are still pretty high health. Well, Kostalton's almost dead. I have to take out the Cat Faction leader lords, and as soon as they're dead, then they might start breaking, maybe? Damn. We were doing so well, and then army losses started to kick in. We killed about half their army, though, for this. This is not the worst. Could have gone better, but I will lose my entire Slaneshi army for this, which sucks ass. Let's see, overall, how do we do? We killed... About 1,500 guys. That's not bad. We took out a ton of men. This The Zarina's Zor army, like, practically nothing happened to her. But every other army took a lot of damage there. See, and you're now offering the defensive lines too. Yes, Throt. I think I would gladly accept your help against the Kislevite forces. Uh, I don't care about calling them. I'll take this item. It is... Eh, not the worst. I'll grab that. Yeah, so we did lose our Slanesh army, sadly. Um, but now we can actually gather together uh, as one. Start making our way over here. So let's kind of start moving with Lothar and Amon and uh, Cervantes. Let's so have all of you start making your way over here. Try oh, we do have to be careful that I'm a little worried. Let's see, because Stalton's right here. I wish I had enough movement to hit you, but I don't. So let's make sure that all of you guys are right next to each other, so you're all together. Uh, let's see. Bellacor is taking some attrition. I'm going to push you into camp stance, and then let's keep making your way up towards the tower, because they are... Let's all have it so you can keep pushing up this way, taking all these lands out. I'm going to have to try and maybe make another army around here, honestly, because I can... Let's see. I, can, I need to repair this still. Why can't I repair that? The fuck? Okay, uh, that's strange. Um, we can do, though, is go back down to you. I think you're just about ready. Okay, you can at least now start recruiting some more men around here. So you can start gathering some corn warriors for yourself. So start gathering those guys. I'll grab at least two more corn warriors. I'm going to get some blood crushers in here for sure. And some soul grinders, too, I'd say. There he is. There's the man of the hour back together. So let's have you regroup with uh, Lothar. Let's see. So... I'm definitely going to be just taking this back, so let's have... Uh, do you mind advance? Let's have Amon. I need to get you more rank ups. So let's have you lead the assault here, and circle that for a second so everybody else can get the benefit of the bloodletting. Let's get Lothar, and then Demonite Cervantes over here as well. Then let's put you into his army once more for training. Then, uh, Amon, you can assault this area here pretty easily. And then I will dedicate this back for Zinch again. And then I think what we're going to do is... Um, let me look at... Yeah, Prague. We can use Prague for this. So let's repair this. Repair that. 
and then let me get uh, the control building, the growth building, and then I will try and start a new army for this. I'll do Lord of Shadows this time, so do that. Um, I'll have to capture. So you can start uh, building up a force around Prague. I'm gonna have it so we'll kind of do... Let's have, let's have some more, let's do Chaos Warriors of uh, Slanash. So we'll grab some great swords, I'd say around here. I'm just grab something. I just want to quickly gather an army and just try and overwhelm Kislev. Because they can't truly stop all of my forces. So we'll try and grab as much as we can. Get some more Slanesh corruption around there too. We'll just try and like, gather a force around Krog. Honestly, I can get one around Kislev too. So let's just make another little army over here as well. Um, I'll do this, this is going to be the... Uh, the corn. Actually, I'll just do... Actually, yeah, no. <gasps> Ooh, actually, I could do that. No. Actually, I was thinking about making the army that is a uh, bunch of bloodthirsters and one of these guys. I'll grab... Uh, this one's slightly better. Let's grab both these guys. Start gathering whatever I fucking can. Oh, wait, no, those are the exalted ones. Uh, whatever I can around here and slowly we'll just try and overwhelm Kislev with just so many armies they can't truly stop me. So I grab that and that. Actually, I should have you get these spells. Boom, boom, boom. Heals. And there we go. So grab that. Then we have it. So Bellicor, you can hit this. Area. Let's take you out of encampment stance. Valiant defeat my ass! We absolutely crushed you, as always, because the wonderful balance uh, combo, a balanced combo of Bellicor with his casting and some soul grinders to support him does wonders, because Bellicor himself, he got about 25,000 damage again, you guys did about, on average, like maybe 6,000, even my Furies did a shit, this one did 1,200 damage, like, what do you guys think is going to happen here? Oh, I even got a nice banner, Twilight Banner, that's an okay one, I think I'm going to really use it on Bellicor, um, let's go with, I'll dedicate to Zinch, dedicate to Zinch for this area, why not? We used a lot of magic to succeed here. So what we'll be doing is, let's see, so the way I'm going to go about this is I'll hit um, this area first. Then I do have the teleport stance, so I can just kind of teleport, try and go for the citadel, bring my way back down here, finish them off. And at the moment, like next turn, I'll be able to have you guys keep pushing towards this fort here. And hopefully that will fall relatively easy to us. So if you get these boosts here for your magic, I'd say. And then we do need to just have it so that you... Uh, I'll have you get... Uh, let's see. Because we don't need to... Move. Let's go more towards Pachavan. We'll still be able to recruit what we want around here. So kind of keep moving more north. These guys, I'm not close enough to it just right now. It's fine. Um, let's spend a turn getting... I want to first... Ooh, there are bloodthirsters here. Ooh, I want bloodthirsters. Let's get one bloodthirster, and then one soul grinder. One bloodthirster, one soul grinder. Uh, do that, and then I'll probably want to get at least, I'd say, I do want some blood crushers before we leave here, too. I want to at least get two of them. Oh my god, can you stop wounding my fucking heroes? Like, seriously? I need those guys. I desperately need those guys. Okay, well, I can't get any close, I can't get close enough to the city, so I'll just kind of group all of our forces up on the border right there. Uh, I've also got this little army. You'll be ready with some more stuff next turn. Uh, let's just grab some more of the swordsmen. Grab more of the swordsmen next turn. I'll kind of move you guys over and maybe grab some Zinch units. Why not? Slanesh and Zinch should kind of be an interesting combo. You keep trying to get some more uh, Plague Bearers. I'll probably grab maybe some of the Rot Flies as well on there. Other units that have not moved yet. Bellicor, you need to keep moving you up towards the Black Gulch. Kind of make your way up there. Again, hit this, teleport over, take the Citadel. That should be all we need to do with you. All my other armies are fine, because again, it's just trying to get you to have... Oh, not you. Uh, you to have a better army, but it's going to take you a couple turns to get that. Oh my god, you wounded another one? Are you fucking kidding me? Stop this bullshit! Ambush or discover... Where's Kostaltin? Where is this asshole? So he's way up there. Okay, I don't care about you. There we go. Some more information about Bloodthirsters if you guys are interested in reading around through this. So I kind of scroll through again. I just hate you and all your agent spam slowly killing off all of my heroes. Okay, well let's have it so, uh, again, Amon, I'll have you be the one to lead the assault to give you some more rank ups. So you can kind of start the siege. Lothar and everybody else kind of support you. So right there and right there. 
Nope, not that one. Let's try and do. Uh, you need to be just a little bit closer. Just make sure you gain from the bloodletting. So you can kind of push through that. There you guys go. So now the only other areas they should have are the ones up north that Bellacor is trying to go through. Because they don't have a lot down here. Um, I probably should get rid of this one rogue army. I can have one of you guys try and deal with that. Maybe the Lothar. You've got to rank up. Keep getting more hit points. You've got to rank up. I'm going to have you upgrade. Um, let's go with... Uh, yeah, hunt. Get more hunt. Amon, I need you to keep getting more of your heal stuff. Conduits, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's all the rank ups for you guys. I have a little bit more movement. I think I'll have Demonite Cervantes make his way over here. You can deal with them. And then for the most part, uh, somebody's trying to attack that. Bellacor can now hit the Black Gulch. Um, I'll lose some units, but I don't care too much about that. I can easily get more. I'll keep dedicating this to Zinch, I'd say. Dedicate to the Zinj, and who can I get to replace some of those? Um, I can just get some more Chaos Warriors for Zinj, because there's nobody doing global recruitment, so I'll just have you grab those three, and then I've got two more slots, so just more Furies, I will say. Uh, you! Okay, you have something now, so let's kind of bring you over. Uh, actually, I'll have you stay here for a little bit. Let's have you get some more recruits. I would say... Honestly, just get more of these guys. At the moment right now, uh, I don't have anything for global recruitment, so you can just grab them. I'll have you grab just more of the Exalted Plague Bearers. So we have bodies to throw at the enemy right now. Ah, well, this garrison's fucked. Uh, I'll let you guys auto resolve through that. I can just bring my forces back around you if you guys actually decide to take it. They didn't, surprisingly. You only decided to raid it for some fucking reason. Sure, just keep taking the attrition from standing around in that area. Why not? Because at least um, this next turn... Yes, you're going to join me as well. Yes, military access getting there. I almost, I literally almost have every single one of you guys allied with me. I love it. I now should be able to. Um, I'll keep doing this with uh, Corn. Still want to try and get Scarbet actually join me if I can. But back up here to Bellacor. Bellacor, let's see. You need... If you do that, you can teleport. This is also... Let's see, you are just... I only have military access with you. You're not actually my ally. I can have you just kind of walk around this way. We'll just have you take the longer route, get a little bit more of punishment, slowly get them over there. Lothar. So let's see. So I see Castalton's up there. Demonite Cervantes. It's also Who Wen again. You can go deal with Who Wen. I will have it so that. Let's see. You guys aren't taking a lot of attrition. They have so many armies. God damn. Pleasure. Really doesn't make me want to just, I can't, just grab as many fucking units as I can around here. Like, I'll have you keep grabbing all of those guys. Ooh, actually, I should switch it up. So, let's have it so that you just have all these swordsmen. I need to get some more men in this army. So, let's grab, um, do I have access to these units yet? I believe I do. I'm thinking of a very specific Nurgle unit. Uh, not that one. It is, oh, do I not have it? Oh, no, I do. Yeah, it is. Here it is. The one that has the range attack. So I'm gonna grab some of you guys, and then more of these. So keep gathering those forces together. This, uh, I think for you... I want to hit Castalton, but I don't have enough movement to hit him. You do... Can you hit him? He's gonna run, though. Yeah, he'll run. I can't catch him, sadly. So I'll have to try and have it. So I'll have Lothar kind of make his way back over this way. Let's try and finish off and eliminate any uh, lone armies they have. And kind of avoid their larger ones. Interesting that how my Clan Mulder allies, military allies, are now building the outpost over there. Interesting. Uh, Blood Crushers, there's some more information about them if you guys are interested for that army. Where we've now been able to build up more of that force. I believe that one's almost ready. I think you guys maybe need like one or two more turns. No, you have everything I want for, at least for corn. So let's bring you guys over here. Let's make sure we're gonna upgrade these guys to Exalted Pink Horrors. Turn these all into Exalted Pink Horrors if I can. I think I can for every single one of you. Yeah, you all gain experience. Okay. Then let's bring our forces up towards Machafen, and then I can get a little bit more uh, Zinch force in this, because they don't have a lot of Zinch in here. I think for Zinch, Ooh, I kind of... Yeah, I'll just get some flamers. Yeah, get some three flamers. That army will be then ready, and I can bring them up north as well. Looks like... Oh, uh, who went ran the fuck away. Good. That's what you should be doing. And then there's one... Ran okay, Castalton's over here. Can we catch this asshole, please? I want to catch Castalton. But you guys are so spread out, and I can't actually physically catch up to you. 
So keep trying to do that. At least they're all taking attrition. Oh, you're force marching. That's why. Okay, you can keep trying to do that. Bellacor, you've been able to get a little bit more punishment. Let's have you now teleport. So if you teleport right next to it, next turn you can take the city, and then you just need to make your way over. Also, honestly, I'm kind of wishing you guys maybe just take that before the kids of lights can do anything, because that's the last city they have. It's just those two, and then all these armies will start taking a shit ton of attrition. Uh, let's see other garrison forces here. <laughs> you guys, uh, I can't really recruit anything else besides. I'm just gonna keep scaring these, honestly. Build this entire army of just these swordsmen, because why not? I, you're just kind of a fodder army. So just kind of just rush on in there with some really big ass fucking swords. Why not? You keep trying to get these exalted blood, uh, blood, blood blade bears, and I'll try and bring them over as well. Just all my allies are building outposts. I'm not surprised. Then again, because you guys just get access to so many troops doing so. Um, let's see. So I've got one of my heroes back in action. You were in um, Demonite Cervantes' army. You were in his army, and I don't think the other guy's back just yet. Sadly, here's some information about Flamers of Zinch if you guys are interested. And then also Plague Drones. We've got some of those guys ready too. If you're interested in anything about them specifically. Okay. So for the most part, like they don't. Like, what are you guys doing? You're just all over the place randomly. Cause Sultan's trying to run like a bitch. That's what he's trying to do. So Amon, and let's get to Demon Knight Cervantes, and then Lothar to group back up together around here again. Cause they're trying to run. They're taking some attrition around these areas, a little bit at least. Let's have you try and repair that, and then Bellacor, you can easily take. Oh, they've got a re rebellion up here actually. Uh, go into your normal stance. Oh, it actually ends it automatically. Really? Really? We, have, we You really think you're gonna win this? Like, you guys can barely even touch my great Uncreen ones. Like, you can barely almost kill one of them. Bellacor can just do whatever he wants to your lords. You can't touch him. Very rarely can you do enough damage to make Bellacor actually care. Because right here, he did another, yeah, about 20,000 damage. My, my, uh... <laughs> God damn it. My soul grinders did about like 8,000 damage on average each. With that now though, Kislev has one city. Now, as long as they don't take any of my current ones that I have, Belancor will be able to very easily make his way over and claim uh, their last settlement. I'm gonna actually have you sack this and then uh, capture it uh, for Zinch. Then you need to just take some replenishment and then you can kind of push on out of here next turn. Might have you kill that little army over there for the most part. Uh, other armies, you just got some more of your plague drones. I'm gonna have you grab some more of those. Uh, grab some more. Actually, uh, let's grab some uh, soul grinders. Grab more soul grinders and exalt the plague ones. You actually almost have an army pretty much ready there. Same with you guys. In two to three turns, these forces will be ready to actually start helping. Damn it! You're taking another one of the cities. Ah, this one. I'm going to quickly try and see if we can do a decent amount of damage to them at least. I don't want to just freely give them this city, but they are trying to attack it again. I only have like half my normal supplies, sadly. Because at least I can try and focus my defense around here, and I might be able to do a decent amount of damage if I can slowly kill off these guys and prepare primarily for the reinforcements, because they're just about to make their way onto the map. I've been able to at least get one tower set up here. I'm going to try and get, because there's at least a couple around this spot, I can only have up to three. So try and get another tower around here, and once I have enough, I'll get another one back here. And we've already destroyed those Czar Guard here, at least. So if we can at least do a decent amount of damage to them as they're trying to make their way over here, that will help. Main concern is this fucking bear. This bear, I'm trying to just burn to a crisp with my flamers. It's actually taking quite a bit of damage. If I can take you out at least, I think we might have a pretty good chance. Because right now, I have my hero. I'm having you to try and just keep casting Searing Doom onto those skirmishers. Number wise, he had about 400, which isn't bad, actually. It's just, I'm taking a lot of damage. Sadly, not enough. We did kill the bear. I took out a decent chunk of them still. Uh, they lost about 700 guys. So close defeat, that's not that bad. I'm expecting this area they will conquer and take for themselves, as they only have one settlement. And if you guys don't, Bellacor is gonna finish you off got, uh, pretty quickly. They didn't take the city. For whatever reason. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I got my other Blood Reaper in, uh, back on duty, so let's get, bring you over this way as well. Then, let's see, can we finally hit these armies? Uh, they are like just out of reach, I think. I'm gonna, okay, you can think, uh, you'll be the one that I have to hit with. You no, know, Demonite Cervantes has more range too. So let's get Lothar, 
Lothar is the one that's actually the furthest away. I don't know. I could bring you over here. And then Demite Cervantes to lead the assault. That's just the two. Yeah, just the two in the reinforcing army. And am I going to lose much here? Uh, not a lot. I'm only going to lose uh, just these, the Heart Seekers. That's fine. I need to get these armies out of the way. I need to kill them off. And me losing those three units, that's fine, I'd say. We'll kind of get some uh, replenishment. Then I'll have it so that Demonite Cervantes... Uh, let's switch to you and Amon. So Amon, get out of the city. You go back in the city, and then I can have you just try and uh, queue up some more replacements for those Heartseekers you just lost. So try and do that. But now, you guys are at least out of the way, so now I can properly try and just make sure they don't take any more land. So let's have you get back over there. You will go back into Amon's army. And then I've got rank ups for Amon. And I'll probably just go with uh, upgrading your yellow line now, actually. So let's do that. And then we also had rank ups for Demonite Cervantes. Let's have you keep upgrading yourself as well. For the Onslaught Crush is. There we go. Now. Belakor, how far away are you? So I can get you there. It's going to take you like, what, a turn or two? Yeah, two turns. And then you'll be over there. They'll finally be done, and this video, which is way too fucking long, will be over. I just had to be a masochist and want to complete this campaign in, like, one more video, have it be a nice even 20 videos. But we will be able to do it. I will have all these other armies that will be ready soon to guarantee that just in case they do take something back, I can just swarm that one city and take it back. Doesn't look like you guys are trying to do anything. That's fine by me. Uh, I'll take the Great Sacrifice one. Uh, oh, you are sieging my fort. So you're trying to siege up here. So that's uh, the Tsarina's trying to do that. And wait. Really? Way down here. These rogue armies, honestly, again, are doing more than Kislev ever has. I'll have you try and make your way back down this way. Why can't I? Another one? Oh, wow. They're actually sieging multiple areas. Okay. That's who went again. Ah, I just want to kill him. Yeah, let's bring... Can you not make him back this way? Not the hell? Oh, th that's why. Uh, no, I'm gonna say he, you're gonna stay as that. That's what was going on. Okay. So you make your way back over here. Try and prevent them from taking that. Um, for the most part, that we're gonna be doing then is uh, this army. You're ready. You're like one unit off, but that's fine. Move your way over here. You'll be ready next turn. I can have you two try and make deal with who when, and then I can have it so that Emon and uh, everybody else can try and make their way up here to the fort. Lothar, go with him, and then d Cervantes, you're recruiting for another turn, that's okay. Oh, am I? Oh, sorry, wrong army, wrong army. You're supposed to go into uh, Amon's army. Yeah. Go over to his army. There you go. Then you guys can try and deal with them, and then Belakor, you're just like one turn away. Next turn, Kislev dies, and we finally finish this campaign. And they didn't try an attack. Okay. So now... It is time, Belakor. We need you to take this last city that they've got. Uh, I'm gonna lose some of my Furies and Chaos Warriors. That's fine. Now, Kislev will have no cities after this. Pardon me, honestly, just fucking raise it. Just fucking raise the city. I don't care about this up here. This area is not connected to anything I control, so that's fine. So, Belakor, I'll just bring you back over to what I do control over there. And now, we just need to make sure that we finish off their armies to properly kill off Kislev. They should all be taking attrition. They have no cities now at this point. They have to deal with me. So I'm going to start trying to focus on the Tsarina. Uh, Amon as well. Kind of make it over here. And then do they have any other armies or just those ones? Because the only other armies I see around here are rogue armies. And those I can kind of ignore for the most part. I think it's just the Tsarina. Because I don't see anybody else besides her. So let's just try and beeline for her. Kind of sad I can't get to her right now. That's fine. Uh, you can keep making your way over to who when the Zarina is actually going to attack her attack us herself I have the Pyrrhic victory with the auto results. So I'll take that Then just do dedication to all gods. Yep. They're just uh, rampantly trying to attack my things You somehow looks like you almost survived that did he? No, yeah, he's still alive. So the Zarina's army is now dealt with but that one other force did survive So we have to kill him then Kislev is finally dead, which I think I have... He's not that far away from us, right? Or maybe he'll take enough attrition that he'll die during the turn end, hopefully. Because let's see. 
treasure discovered. Splendor. We don't care too much about that. Nothing else going on. You guys are still sieging us here. I'm going to be easy to have you stop for a second. Oh, no, they pulled away. Okay. They pulled away. Let's go check on up here on the things that we do care about. So that army is up by the fort. So Demon Knight Cervantes. It's literally one unit, and he'll maybe die during the end turn? Maybe? He's either going to die during the end turn, or I'll have all of my armies start trying to rush at him and take him out. Bellacor can kind of make their way up from the northern side to try and hit him as well. Ah, so you're also going out with a grand final charge, Sebastian, I see. You're attacking one of my garrisons that has Demonite Cervantes nearby as well. A lot of resolve there. And that should then be the end of Kislev. And, as long as it's confirmed that they are finally dead, this campaign will be done. And I think this video is almost going to be two fucking hours. Ah, I'm a masochist. But I had to feel, I feel like I had to finish this campaign today. I wanted to have it be a nice even 20. Didn't want to have to wait too much longer and to be able to start my stuff with the Mortal Empires, which is going to be starting. I'm going to be preparing for that immediately after I'm done with this. So as soon as I'm done with this, then I can start trying to prepare for my Carl Franz campaign. And there we go. Victory Route 2, succeeding you, where we have now defeated all of Kislev. Now I do want to actually kind of like let this play out so we can see the entire map, because now this is our proper victory conditions. The other one was kind of a short victory conditions, and I didn't care too much about it, but this here now is the representation of us finally killing off Kislev, uniting most of the world in chaos. Cathay is the only area that was still remaining, and we could have gone to them if we really wanted to. But I thought it was more important and more thematic for us to go after Kislev, I'd say, for the most part. As I think that just is more fitting. But, no, I I had a lot of fun with this campaign. It was a little wonky to get Bellacor, which would work. But I think it was a lot of fun playing as Bellacor and uh, making it so I basically carved a path to become ever-chosen as myself. But now that Immortal Empires will be coming soon uh, to Warhammer 3, I will now be able to properly, at some point, be able to come back and play his campaign properly <laughs> instead of this jury-rigged bullshit. It's fun, but it, it, it's definitely jury-rigged uh, a ton. Uh, let me kind of try and speed up through Like, I only own 89 regions. And I want to conquer the world as Carl Franz next. Oh, that's going to be interesting, especially because Immortal Empires is like 500 regions. Oh, God. Okay, but let me kind of speed through this because we can kind of see us expanding. And, like, what turn was that we started exploding? Around turn 60, was it? Yeah, around turn 60, we started to explode rapidly. That's when we had everything secured and we just started to spread over to the Empire. Then we just started to just burn everything in our path. And then it kind of slowed down a little bit around here. As we were finishing up and dealing with all the ogres, but then it kind of sped up again as we made our way into Kislev. And then as we slowly yeah, brought in our reinforcements and just surrounded them from multiple angles and took out every last member against us. Uh, I will kind of go over statistics if you guys are interested to kind of see what happened here for us. So diplomacy, income, expenditure, armies. I had nine at most. It's lost and destroyed. Total battles fought. Battles fought personally. I love that it was actually like a perfect balance there. Like half the battles I fought, half battles I auto-resolved. Interesting. Interesting. I like that. Victories, losses, aftermaths, and heroes recruit. I didn't really do a lot with heroes, but this is going to be a pretty great place to end this video for now. We have now finished this campaign. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this, and I'm hoping you guys are excited to see when I try and play as Carl Franz in Immortal Empires to conquer the world. Hope you guys will check that out. That should be releasing as, uh, as I'm releasing this video tomorrow. Tomorrow is when you guys should be seeing that from me. So, hope to see you guys there, but this is Rampan, and I uh, hope yeah, again, you enjoyed this. Let me know what you uh, thought about it down in the description down below. <laughs> the description. Comments down below. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this campaign. But this is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.